Plato's dialogue Georgius addresses rhetoric or the art of speech, power, justice, and good and evil. In a debate with two rhetoricians, Callicles and Georgius, and the student of Georgius, Polus, Socrates attempts to establish what he believes is the right way to live and to establish philosophy as a knowledge that heals the soul rather than rhetoric which merely flatters it. As the dialogue begins, Georgius brags that he can make anyone into a rhetorician. Socrates attacks rhetoric, saying it is not a legitimate branch of knowledge because all professions use speech. So what specific skill does rhetoric have? They finally arrive at the conclusion that rhetoric is the art of establishing conviction in its listeners to persuade them, especially in courtrooms and public assemblies. Therefore, rhetoricians deal with what is just and unjust, but it is possible for them to abuse their power. For example, by convincing a jury to let a guilty man go free using the art of rhetoric. Socrates says that rhetoric is a form of flattery. It is the equivalent of cooking pastries, which feel nice to eat, but are bad for you. Socrates continues his conversation with Polus, addressing Georges' claim that rhetoricians are powerful because they can bend others to their will. Socrates argues that tyrants and rhetoricians are in fact the unhappiest and least powerful people in the city. Socrates argues that to do evil and not to be punished, and thus shown the error of one's ways, is the same as having an untreated disease in one's body. Tyrants think they are acting in their best interest by confisc confiscating the property of others, when in fact they are acting against their own interests, because evil is harmful to their soul. It follows that it is worse to do evil than to have evil done to you. It also follows that it is best to forgive one's enemies, even to go as far as to keep them from being accused by the courts. Finally, Socrates argues it follows that to be happy, rhetoricians should accuse themselves and their families before the courts. And because of this statement, Socrates' interlocutors assume that he is joking. At this point, Callicles jumps in. He accuses Socrates of having turned the world upside down by saying that people should forgive their enemies and accuse themselves in court. Socrates argues that while rhetoricians always change their opinions depending on the views of others, philosophy remains the same. Callicles ignores this, ignores this and argues that there is nothing good about suffering evil. Evil is only bad because it damages one's standing in the eyes of others. In nature, there is only strength and weakness. Nature rewards the strong and punishes the weak, and that is as it should be. Goodness is when the strong are rewarded for their strength. Socrates points out that, by this logic, a mass of people would be better than an individual, since it is stronger. But this mass of individuals often passes laws that Callicles considers weak. For example, laws that demand that property be distributed equally. Socrates insists again that simply to follow one's appetites causes unhappiness, not happiness. Having reached a stalemate with Callicles, Socrates argues with himself, the purpose of philosophy is to tell us what is true and good, not what is pleasant. Towards the end of the dialogue, Socrates displays how virtue arises from an appropriate balance of the arts defined earlier in the dialogue, as well as an attempt to show how virtue manifests in self in a righteous life. Socrates describes virtue of the body through gymnastics and medicine, as well as of the soul through temperance and justice.